Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in series RLC circuit at resonant condition. The first problem, determine the resonant frequency, bandwidth and quality factor of the series RLC circuit with the given values R is equal to 10 ohm, L is equal to 0.1 Henry and capacitance is equal to 10 microfarad. So first we have to write the given data. R, L and C values are given in the problem. This problem is very important. So in the solution part, first we are going to find out the resonant frequency F0. So what is the formula? 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. So this is the standard formula to find out the resonant frequency for series RLC circuit. Then we are going to substitute the values of L and C in this formula. Then we can get 1 by 2 pi square root of 0.1 that is the L value multiplied with the capacitor value is 10 microfarad. So 10 micro means 10 into 10 to the power minus 6. Micro means we can use minus 6. Okay. Then we can simplify this term using calculator. Then we can get F naught is equal to 1 by 6.283 into 10 to the power minus 3. Then the answer is 159.16 hertz. So that is the resonant frequency value for the given circuit. So next we are going to find out the bandwidth. So bandwidth is equal to the difference between the upper cut off frequency and lower cut off frequency at half power range. So simply we can say F2 minus F1. It can also be obtained by using the formula R by 2 pi L. So we can use this formula. We can simply substitute the values of R and L in this formula. Then we can get R value as 10. Here L value is 0.1. We can get the answer as 15.92 hertz. So that is the bandwidth value. And finally we are going to find out the quality factor. So for this quality factor we can use the formula 1 by R into square root of L by C R F naught by bandwidth. So here we have already obtained this resonant frequency value and bandwidth. So we can use this formula. So here the quality factor is equal to the ratio of resonant frequency to the bandwidth. Substitute those values here 159.16 divided by 15.92. Then the answer is 9.99. So we can simplify this term as 10. So quality factor is equal to what here? 10. Do you all understand this one? The next problem. A series RLC circuit consists of 50 ohm resistance, 0.2 Henry inductance and 10 microfarad capacitance with the applied voltage of 20 volt. Determine the resonant frequency, quality factor, the lower and upper frequency limits and bandwidth of the circuit. So first we have to write the given data. R is equal to 50 ohm. L is equal to 0.2 Henry. C is equal to 10 microfarad. Micro means 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 here. V is equal to 20 volt. We are going to find out resonant frequency, quality factor, F1 and F2 values and then the bandwidth. So first we are going to find out the resonant frequency. F0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. Then we can substitute the values of L and C in this one. So 1 by 2 pi square root of 0.2 multiplied with 10 into 10 to the power minus 6. So C value is 10 microfarad. Okay. So after that we can simplify this term using calculator. We can get the value as 112.5395 hertz as the resonant frequency. And next we are going to find out the bandwidth. So bandwidth is equal to F2 minus F1 that is also equal to R by 2 pi L. Simply substitute the values of R and L here. R is 50 ohm, L value is 0.2. So 50 divided by 2 pi into 0.2. Then we can get the answer as 39.7887 hertz. Okay, then we can find out the quality factor. So Q is equal to the ratio of resonant frequency to the bandwidth. So here we can substitute the values of resonant frequency and bandwidth. So 
so 112.5395 divided by 39.7887 then the answer is 2.8284 so that is the quality factor value next we are going to find out the lower frequency limit that is f1 that is equal to the resonant frequency f0 minus r by 4 pi l so r by 4 pi l is nothing but the half of the bandwidth so we can say f0 minus bandwidth divided by 2 okay so here we can substitute this values as such 112.5395 that is the resonant frequency value minus r value is 50 divided by 4 pi inductance value is 0 0.2 then we can get the answer as 92.64 hertz okay so that is the lower frequency limit so next we are going to find out the upper frequency limit that is f2 is equal to f0 plus r by 4 pi l so this r by 4 pi l is nothing but half of the bandwidth so here we can use this formula that is f0 is 112.5395 plus bandwidth divided by 2 that is 39.7887 divided by 2 then the answer is 132.43 hertz so this is the upper frequency limit do you all understand this problem